Hey people, welcome back to the second episode of the night. This is gonna be something a little bit tedious work because I have quite a few fragrances here to show you. As you can see, these are the newer uh, fragrances that I acquired uh, just yesterday. And these are all thanks to brother Mohit Khatri, my dear brother Mohit Bhai from India. He is the owner of Project Perfumery uh, India. He has huge stores in multiple, uh, I think, cities in India. So. He is basically like uh, operating overseas as well, like international shipment and everything. So this fragrance, first of all, let me clarify something. This is some of these fragrances they are bringing exclusively to India. And this fragrance, some of them, they are also seen in, uh, I think, Frag Revolution uh, PH Philippines. Okay, so my brothers in Philippines, they have used, I have seen them posting this. So these are basically Middle Eastern fragrances, copy or rather inspired expression or something like that you can call sort of like let's say clone house uh, they have very good decent perfumes here so these are sent to me for reviewing and my personal usage and uh, i will give you my honest take on this very briefly on each but except one perfume that was sent uh, like i was really waiting for this one this one i'll do separate full-on review not today but i'll do later so this is the rouge 666 the sign of satan <laughs> this is a clone of baccarat rouge okay edp version and this is one of the similar looking packaging like alexa okay that was the first fragrance this is the second i believe if i'm wrong correct me so this is really something else he sent me a little bit partial bottle his own bottle to review so i will actually test it a little bit more and i'll review it separately all right so this one i believe many people are waiting for it so i'm not going to do it in a rush so I have here around 13 perfumes, okay? And those who do not like clone houses and you find it kind of like, uh, how to say, offensive, like you feel this is not right, you can absolutely uh, skip the video, I wouldn't mind at all, right? So keep in mind, open mind, it's for people who love to smell posh, they like the note of oud, Middle Eastern fragrances, niche designer fragrances, but to them, like, you know, higher price tag of niche and designer, it's not really, like easy for them like let's say niche and designers gonna cost you money hundreds of dollars so this fragrance is not gonna cost you that much it's a fraction of price so i'm not sh quite sure the prices but they're pretty much like 35 40 dollars tops like if it's the best deal i think maybe 40 45 dollars for the alexa and the project alternative the rouge 66 but i'm not sure pricing i'm not sure okay so here you go first one i'm gonna show you uh, this bottle is gonna look familiar to you this is looking like Dolce & Gabbana number no. 3, Le Imperatrice, which I had, which is just, just sold off. This is the clone of that one, okay? So this is from the house of Pandora and Pandora Sense. I think these are French house, okay? Uh, this is in made in UAE, sorry. Made in UAE, not French. And the bottle juice color, everything is the same. And the bottle is a little bit wider and not as thick as the Dolce & Gabbana, but I love this bottle a lot. You know, it's a very beautiful bottle. And the cap is also, also similar, okay? When you smell it, this is exactly that juice. It's like watermelon, kiwi, citruses, and some florals. It's built for women, I believe, but it's pretty unisex in my opinion. If you like kiwi and watermelon, that's it. You do not need to ask more. This is a beautiful fragrance, and it's, I think, fraction of a cost of Dolce & Gabbana number three, Lemper of Trist. So this is pretty good stuff. Longevity is also good. I tested them all on paper. So basically, I'm telling you one day's uh, experience or experimentation very beautiful juice this is something i would say uh, if you like that one dolce gabbana number three which is discontinued now and a little bit more pricey like 55 dollars this is going to be cheaper than that so this is very very good it's a good buy okay next one i'm gonna show you i think oh sorry i didn't show you the other um dolce gabbana clones box i have the box as well as well this is the box they come in really nice packaging okay so next one i'm gonna show you this is let me show you the box first then you tell me guys what this reminds you of from front it says Ut Kalakas right and someone wanted me to review it I think one of the brothers in the group from India it says uh, blue sky and from the side if you see this oops what is that that's Dylan blue my friends <laughs> they took the uh, pattern and design they just right away they put it in the side so the, I thought this is gonna be Dylan blue clone and this is the bottle so basically this is set to be I think I saw uh, Mohit Bhai reviewed this in 2018 December somewhere so in his video, he said this is a clone of Dylan Blue, sort of like mixes with Sauvage and all. So what I really feel like, with all due respect, this fragrance is a clone of Chrome, 
slash uh, Nautica's The Voyage and Chrome Legend. If you love those fragrances, this is a blend of three. And uh, on the last stage, on the dry down, you get a bit of uh, Dior Sauvage like, but it's not that Ambrox and Calibrian Bergamot. So it's basically, let's just call it Chrome slash Chrome Legend slash uh, Nautica Voyage. All mixed together, I get prominent green apple note, tonka bean, kind of like, a, you know, a green vibe as well. Like green apple sort of gives that green vibe as well. This fragrance fresh, uh, just like also, I mean, this reminds me of David Beckham Essence, I believe. This also has that feel, kind of like pineapple-y. So it's a nice fragrance for students and beginners and youngsters. If you like, like to get something on those lines, I would say Blue Sky is one of the uh, nice ones. Nice bottle though, a nice cap as well. So this is my second one. Third one I'm going to show you, uh, perhaps is one of the best in the lineup that I saw today. This is called King by Utkalakas. Where is the King box? Yeah, this comes in. I have to show you the box uh, exclusively. Okay, this comes into uh, beautiful packaging. I think this is going to be a little bit more premium. There you go, King. Okay, very bold name. Okay, and it has that sort of like Tom Ford sort of presentation. Very sturdy box. This is going to be a little bit more expensive, and the fragrance itself, it's a clone of something a little bit more pricey in designer side. I am getting Prada Loam from this. This is, I would dare say, this is a Prada Loam clone. I don't know. I didn't do any research. I didn't see videos. So to my nose, this smells like Prada Loam and very uh, close to Prada Loam. The opening, dry down, everything smells identical, but this one perhaps a little bit more uh, premium in terms of that iris is a little bit more sophisticated in this one. Obviously, you expect that with Prada, house like Prada. So Prada Loam is kind of like inoffensive, fresh office fragrance, great for men who like to wear safe fragrances and smell good and not offending anybody like great gym scent. This is going to give you that, okay? Nice little bottle, okay? This one, if you like Prada Loam, you can definitely give it a sniff. Yep, was not wrong. <laughs> this is Prada Loam clone. This is called King by Utkalakas. All right, next one. It's, I think I saw it just yesterday. One of the brothers from uh, Philippines group, he posted it. Check out that bottle and check out this bottle, side by side, okay? Enough said, this is a Fahrenheit clone. This is not Fahrenheit Le Parfum clone, but it's the bottle is even prettier than Fahrenheit. I'm telling you, this is so heavy. This glass base is thick glass base, solid glass, okay? It says Notorious, up there, cap. Little bit like wide bottle, like wide as in like fat, and very heavy, thick glass base. This is feels solid in the hand. So this fragrance is just... <laughs> This is exactly Dior's Fahrenheit. I have the original Fahrenheit. I have a lot of Fahrenheits in my collection, like Fahrenheit uh, flankers, but this actually is pretty close to Dior Fahrenheit. Performance is good on this one, but Dior Fahrenheit will give you a little bit more florals that I did not get from this. It's just very uniform, sort of petroleum, violet leaves, mild florals, you know, it smells like that. Leather jacket, there's leather note in this. So this fragrance smells very, very close. It's you cannot tell if you wear this people cannot tell you are not wearing fahrenheit very good clone i would say 95 percent same notorious okay <clears throat> by pandora sense and this is the box also similar to uh dior fahrenheit le parfum okay next one if you see the bottle probably you'll be able to tell what this is this is the box it, they gave and then it, it moves to the side i think wait you have to use two hands slides and then when you open it it does look like tear dermis right yes this i saw the box and i knew from pandora sense this is a great uh clone of tear dermis as you can see from the bottle orange colored juice there you go very beautiful bottle as well it says pandora sense down there cap and once again if you if you feel offended that you're watching this that you someone's ripping money of the designer you can absolutely skip the video i'm just reviewing this because i have full respect to my brothers who uh, want me to review fragrances and send me stuff all right so uh, this is uh, called protocol edition sounds like ghost protocol uh, tom cruise movie i guess the mission impossible yeah so this fragrance when you open it sorry sometimes what happens is the uh, the upper part comes off but the spray everything works fine so this when you smell it i mean the spray is all right on these you know okay this is it smells very very close to tear dermis but the opening just the difference is the opening little bit tear dermis has a very beautiful orangey sort of citrus opening this one has kind of like a powdery sort of a bitter orange sort of feel but it smells more uh, close to the clones of tear dermis than tear dermis but on the dry down 
pretty much same fragrance. Teardermis is obviously going to get a lot more longevity than this, but for the price, this is a great substitute. You can try it out. Uh, this is called Protocol Edition Pure Perfume. And for Pandora Sense, this is uh, Tear Dermes Clone. Next is a fragrance for women, I believe. Where's the box? These clones are like <laughs> sometimes unbelievable. It looks just like Dior Joy, and this is a Dior Joy clone. And they put the name as Love, Love and Love Dale. Okay. And from Pandora Sense. So there you go. Nice little bottle. Pink juice. Very beautiful, just like Dior Joy, but except the cap, it's not magnetic okay it's just the same cap they copied the cap is just not magnetic the smell is just however great i sprayed this it's just lovely it's just super lovely this is something that you want to wear as a lady in summer days spring days this is going to be very fresh refreshing florals i think there is a peony in this and there is lychee some sort of fruits and florals mixed but very light and airy and it's going to last a long time as well so this is beautiful beautiful uh, clone as well next one we have a same house three fragrances called monster fragrances okay so first of all i'm going to show you the this one where is that one okay these are i believe uh, montal fragrance clones okay there you go look at that bottle this is much better quality bottle presentation is very heavy glass it's until here it's you can see glass base heavy heavy glass and solid bottle these are not cheaply made okay here's the box looks like Mans mancera and montals it's called cafe intense so i guess uh, it says Mon monster fragrances here so these fragrances i think it's called cafe rose or cafe intense like cafe rose was from tom ford it reminds me of that it's very yummy delicious sort of like uh, you go by a coffee place and you smell rose in this i get a lot of rose in this, this is rose heavy and then vanilla and i believe there is um, rose vanilla sort of oud sort of mixture but mostly what you get is that ra like very um, like a deep rose scent you know like very mature dark red rose okay it's a color kind of like color of passion el passion uh, like david batista would say in dexter i miss that show so this is kind of like rose based heavy jammy rose kind of a scent okay try it out monster fragrances cafe intense very beautiful fragrance next one it's one of the loudest fragrance i sprayed this in my room i made a mistake this fragrance do not spray more than once okay and do it for outside this is monster fragrance it's called black oud and this is a black oud by montal clone okay very quickly very beautiful same heavy bottle same everything just this is purely oud if you love oud the smell of agar oud smoky perhaps a little bit incense i don't know it is a rose it's like man mancera black to black black oud sort of like similar sort of a fragrance okay so if you love those fragrances this is a cheaper version of that but i don't know how much cheaper like definitely going to be cheaper but how much by how much you have to ask mohit bhai so this is blackout clone very nice longevity on these three mind blowing all right next one it's going to be the ladies version okay i have a few more to go after that monster fragrance rose mask this is a beautiful looking bottle look at that color this is just the brightest color to make your day it reminds me sort of like Victoria's Secret's bombshell, like the bottle design. They are very pretty and pink. I love that. I use that bombshell body mist on me. So this is kind of like a citrusy sort of uh, rose. And it's very nice. It's like rose water. And we have this string thing in subcontinent called uh, Ruabza. And it's not exactly like Ruabza, but it's more like holy rose water that you spray on people like or you throw on people. You know, you go to the... Kind of like a religious uh, i don't know affairs or something you go to like the um, prayers or something like that sunday prayers this is kind of like a fragrance i think it's very nice citrusy fruity side to it but more i get rose okay so this is rose and musk but i get most like a kind of a transparent sort of a rose water okay if you like that women would really love this only thing first five to ten seconds you're gonna get an alcohol blast after that it's fine so use it on your clothes better all right so you have four left these are the four serious ones okay these are more uh, middle eastern sort of uh, fashion fragrance okay so the next one is called amir al oud it's from house of pure rose i believe okay this is the fragrance this is the box this is very nice presentation okay i'm not quite sure what fragrance they cloned this one but bottle is very heavy gorgeous little presentation here cap is very nice so this fragrance 
what I get from this, it's hard to tell, man. You know, like I did not ask Mohit Bhai what to clone, uh, what they cloned in this. Um, but I get kind of like a. Let me spray this. I'll just tell you what I get. I mean, I'm not sure what they clone. Maybe if you, some of you know, put it in the link below. <sighs> I'm getting something like saffron-ish, kind of like oud, uh, incense -y sort of a vibe. At the same time, it's fresh. It's a fresh sort of incense or saffron, either one of these. I'm not quite sure what I'm smelling here because I don't have any notes breakdown here. And I'm getting like very woody, fresh, uh, kind of like oud, but at the same time, a fresh, spicy kind of a uh, fruity kind of oud. Perhaps it's uh, similar to what... It's remind me a lot of uh, One for Vegas, Safari Extreme by Abdul Samad Al Qureshi, is it? Uh, which house is that? You know, Safari Extreme from the house, okay? I think Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. Yeah. I'm smelling this one. I think perhaps they're going for Tuscan leather. I'm not sure. Could be wrong, okay? Because I'm getting a little bit leather as well now. You know, this kind, kind of color leather, this kind of leather. So yeah, I'm getting those. I think perhaps this could be a Tuscan leather clone, but slowly it will open up on the dry down. It will go to that side, okay? This is Amir Al Oud. Try this fragrance. I think it's a very nice, fantastic fragrance for nighttime. Next, this is called Al Kaisar. I think Al Kaisar Pure Rose. Same house like Pure Rose, and this is more reflective kind of presentation. There you go. Looks like almost like Parfum de Marly. This is EDP concentration 100 ml. This. I just surrender. You know, this is Dark Lord. This is very, very dark. I don't know what they copied. This smells like a popuri. This smells like I'm not sure. <laughs> it's dark. It's very, very dark. It's like not black Afghano. It doesn't smell like black Afghano, but think of something as dark as those. This is very dark sort of fragrance. It's a one direction You're heading towards darkness. If you like dark, sort of like also got oud, I think. Um quite difficult to tell kind of like ambergris sort of feel somewhere there you know like earthy something earthy something like charcoal something dark mysterious animalic sort of fragrance perhaps i'm smelling a little bit of a uh, civet could be wrong but this is like animalic sort of powerhouse kind of fragrance this is definitely for men in the winter time okay this is called al kaiser by pure rose i'll put down the names when i review finish reviewing next is i think um Muhit Bhai is one of the favorite ones. This is called Oud Kalakas Vanilla. Okay. This is Oud Kalakas Vanilla. Yeah. This box is kind of not very... Uh, it kind of looks like black opium, right? Like that kind of combination. But the bottle, out of this world. You cannot tell me this is not a nice bottle. It looks like Tuxedo by YSL, right? That kind of bottle presentation. Very dark. And bottom here gets a little bit like orangey. I think juice color is like, yeah, very dark. Okay. So this is a heavy, heavy glass base. So here, you know, this fragrance, uh, this is a rose oud combo. If it's typical Middle Eastern countries you go, you enter any perfume shop, this is the first smell you're gonna get, I guess. Very potent, strong, masculine, you enter like that. It's a very heavy and very posh kind of a fragrance and not for the faint of hearts, okay? Like if you are very, uh, Dylan Blue, Savashtra sort of guy, do not wear this. This is for masculine, mature noses. If you are into fragrance game for some time, into oud, you'll find this kind of basic, I'll tell you. Like, if you already play with, like, agar batis or, you know, like, incense sticks, and you're already deep in the oud game, this is going to be very basic to you. But people who want to enter oud game, this is very beautiful. This is something I would wear. I think this is a tobacco veni sort of impression they also make this vanilla definitely there and there is kind of like a tobacco oud mix so if you like that you should definitely try it if you do like those kind of fragrance very yummy sort of a vanilla it's very very intoxicating sort of vanilla okay so try it this is called oud kalakas vanilla and this is a 100 ml edp concentration i believe or oh, this is a 100 ml yeah correct <clears throat> last but not least long video i'm sorry about that but 13 fragrances next is Asrar Al Oud by Oud Kalakas. There you go, beautiful bottle. Where is that? Yeah, <clears throat> this is the box. Nice looking box. This box I really like. Nice pattern going on. This is made in UAE. This is made in France, sorry. So it's called Asrar Al Oud. Asrar Al Oud. Okay. 
So there you go. Very premium bottle. This is perhaps the most nicest looking bottle in this lineup. Very beautiful. Looks like ink container. And uh, black and gold always represents oud. So what do we get from this? Uh, this is the most daring fragrance in this whole lineup. This is as dark as it gets. Someone who knows this perfume, Astrar Al Oud, tell me what this one tried to clone or similar to. Because I'm sensing something very niche, like a very niche side of things. This is very dark. This is very, very, very dark. It's, I think, incense or saffron. One of those spices, black pepper, a lot of black pepper in this, you know, like dark, you know, but no sweetness. Maybe perhaps very dry rose, Damascus, not, not fresh rose. This is something like very dark, uh, mature rose, kind of very dry, dry down, you know, like dry, dry down sort of. So this spray is also not for everybody, okay? This is also for people who like dark, strong, bold fragrances and don't give a damn about people's opinion, okay? So this is Astral Al Oud by Oud Kalakas. So I guess Oud Kalakas, this is kind of like French mostly. And I will do very soon the review of Project Alternative Rouge 666, which is Moit Vice Baby. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, the video will find you helpful and you get some information out of it. And if I get some more, I'll review. Take care, guys. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.